Hey then, welcome to another edition of Unrolling the Roller. In this edition, I'm going to be showing you how to make an uneven double wishbone. This little wishbone, just like in the previous video where I showed you how to cut a notch into the rail of your roller muzzle, will stop your bridle riding up the roller muzzle, causing either your shaft to whip or to shoot low, or sometimes even both. First, let me go and show you how the uneven double wishbone works. I'll use the same muzzle as I did in the previous video, and then I'll show you how easy they are to make. <clears throat> Here you have the long, the long wishbone that's under tension, and the short one, which is loose. As it hits the muzzle, the short one rides up the muzzle, or hits the muzzle, slows down, and releases the shaft. There's no lift, there's no catching on the on the um, on the notch or shark fin. This is great for shark fins. Very, very good for shark fins. As long as your shark fin clears underneath this line here, you're good to go. Let's have a look one more time. There, and just let's it go slowly. Let's try to see that from the top angle. See it's coming along, rides up, and just releases. Okay, so you've seen that when you load onto the long bridle of this wishbone, the short bridle comes in contact with the muzzle first, slowing down and then freely releasing the shaft that's on the long bridle. Okay, for this exercise, you're gonna need a 35 centimeter piece of two mil standard spearfishing Dyneema. I wouldn't go uh, 1.8, the knots land up being a little bit small. On this side here, you're going to just fold it over, tie this with a simple overhand knot, like that. Make this side hand tight. So that's what we have there now. To make one short and one long is quite simple. All you do is you make a loop in your line. So that's what we have there now. And now on this end, while you still got that loop over here, I'm going to tie another overhand knot. Okay. The distance between these two knots is actually quite critical. I see most guys make them too long. So I'm going to start with these knots hand tightened at about four and a half centimeters because I only want this to be about five centimeters. So it's about there. Right, once you've got that nice and tight, hand tight, you can take, now you want to just take these, you want to put that through there, you want to grab that, tighten that, slide that around, tighten both sides. and check your distance. You want to be about five centimeters. Seven is about as far as I'd go, but uh, on a roller muzzle, on my roller muzzles, about five to five and a half centimeters is good. So about five and a half centimeters is good. So you've got a long one and a short one. Take a knife. Trim off these ends. Nice and clean. Fluff those up nicely. And then don't be a sissy. Smooth these off with your hands. Make them nice and smooth. There's no sharp edges. That does cut your rubber on the inside. See, 
And there we have two nice soft edges and short, short wishbone and a long wishbone. So that's what it's going to look like on the gun, like that. The reason you have your wishbone short is that you want to have your rubbers starting above the tops of your rollers. They want to be somewhere between the top of your roller and the top of your rail of your muzzle. That's where you actually want your, your rubber to start. So your, your short wishbone needs to be relatively short. You don't want these rubbers to start somewhere down the bottom here or on the roller. It just makes it very difficult to load. Just push that down with your thumb. That works really well. So if you suspect that uh, your bridle is riding up the muzzle, the uneven double wishbone is a great way to test out and see if uh, that's the case and, and maybe even remedy the problem without having to cut into your muzzle. Obviously cutting into your muzzle is a permanent fix and you can use any um, bridle you want. But I know that some of you guys have got stainless steel rails on your muzzles and you know it's a little bit more difficult to go and start cuts and polishing those. So this is a great alternative to cutting your muzzle. Let me know if this has been helpful in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers, thanks.